Radioactive was one of the first songs that we started on, and it wasn't to the last week that anything came together. We just weren't sure what was gonna happen. When we first started writing Radioactive, it was actually a song called It's All Right. And it, I mean, literally, I think that it was either right after we wrote Aha Shake Heartbreak or during the writing of that record. To be able to put a song on a record that was written two records ago, but for some reason just didn't quite fit. I think it says a lot about the strength of the songs. Yeah, it started out as a very punk rock song um, that we ended up like kind of scrapping. Um, but then we ended up using that melody for the new idea, which was the boom, do, 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 do. Um, but then when we got in there, the verse and chorus were too similar. Um, so it didn't really, it didn't feel like it went anywhere. We had to completely restructure the song, you know, um, and that's what we did going into this record. We just thought, you know, like we're not going to throw away any song. We're going to try to make every song as good as possible. And one night I, we had been there all day and Nathan had gone home and Jared had gone home and Angelo had gone home and it was just me, Matthew and Jakir. And uh, we were playing darts and I was like, I was pretty bummed, you know, that it wasn't going to make the record because I thought it was strong. And I just uh, said, hey, Shakir, just record. I'm going to go in here and do a thing, you know. And I went in there and just said, when the road is called up yonder, and really gave it a lot more space. And by doing that, it made the chorus feel very powerful. And the next day we got in, and I was like, you know, play that. And when he started playing it, Nathan and Jared and Angelo, everyone kind of walked in, like, what is that? What is that song that's being sang very drunkenly? Uh, and it ended up working. It ended up giving new, new life to the song. 